Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh and today we're out here on my range in North Carolina at my house and I'm here to show you a product that I've been kind of dragging my feet on giving you guys a feature video on and that is this bag bullet bag rider. And I know, you know, a bag rider is not super exciting to a lot of you, but for those of you who are into precision rimfire and you're using a bag and you're shooting PRS style matches, I think that this is something that you should really be taking a look at as far as a bag rider goes. Now, the intent of a bag rider is just that, to ride on a bag. And just about every bag rider out on the market does that pretty freaking well. With the bag bullet, what I really like about this is that they have come up with some pretty trick engineering on how they make this to make this a much better bag rider than a typical one that you might find. And at a price point between 70 and 80 bucks, it's not gonna cost you a lot more money. It's pretty competitive with the other bag riders out there. So if you're looking at one, I really think that this bag rider, the bullet bag rider in particular, is the one that you should probably buy. And I'm gonna show you why right now. All right, hopefully you guys are seeing that scope cam pretty clearly, but we're looking at a pretty wide array of targets out here. So we have 100 yards, this is 135, and back there behind it is like 150 yard targets. Uh, one thing I wanna show you is we'll go ahead and load a mag up here. And I believe at 135, I should be somewhere around maybe three mils. Uh, I guess we're about to find out. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a shot. Um, I'm not working this bag very hard at all. If you see through the scope cam, what I'm gonna do is kind of put that there and let go. And you're gonna see that thing doesn't really like fly up or down. This thing holds in the bag very well. And that's because it has a ton of surface area that'll help the bag grab onto this and keep it very steady. So we're gonna shoot at that. Hopefully uh, we're somewhat close. Yeah, we're a little high. Uh, we'll aim a little lower. There we go. And, and I am just barely holding onto this bag. Uh, I am using two fingers, so hopefully I'll be out of your way. I'm gonna use two fingers, my thumb and my pointer finger and we are gonna work this bag real quick, and uh, that's all we're gonna work it with. And with two fingers, I can run this bag. The other great thing about this is this taper design and the offset, it's kind of canned up and it's tapered because it's shaped kind of like a bullet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna back off of the magnification just a little bit so that hopefully you guys can see more of what is going on. And again, I apologize, some of this is gonna be out of focus, but we have a target at about 70 yards. We're gonna go ahead and zero out this. And then we have targets all the way out at 181 yards. And from right here, without a whole lot of effort, we're gonna be able to scan my whole range very easily and very quickly. And uh, I'm gonna shoot at them. I'm probably gonna miss because I don't really know my mill. But uh, let's see what happens. All right, so there's my 70 impact. And then I'll pull the bag forward a little bit. Now we're at the 180. I wanna guess that's about uh, four or five mils. Oh! Probably won't be able to see that through here because it's gonna be kind of fuzzy, but that was a super lucky impact. But what I'm trying to demonstrate there is that we're on the 180 with our holdover. And then if we wanna come back all the way to 70, which is much lower on the range, all I'm gonna do is push this bag further back. And now we're there. And impact. And now we're gonna go over here. Impact, I didn't hit it very good. There we go. And now we'll go to about 90-ish yards, impact, and I think we're out. So we'll play with this a little bit more, but uh, that's really what I wanted to show you. And honestly, for the money investment, this isn't like a night and day thing. This is not gonna transform your shooting. But the one thing I've noticed is that since I have this one on this ACC, every time I shoot another chassis and I go to use a bag, I immediately noticed that I don't have this bullet bag rider. And like I said, I'm not talking trash about the other bag rider options out there, they're good. This is just designed, in my opinion, so much better that when you go back to that original bag rider design, kind of your squared off small, just straight bag rider, that you immediately notice that you're at a disadvantage. You have to work the bag with your support hand a lot harder because you're kind of having to support the whole way of the rifle 
and on a little tiny surface area. Whereas on this bag, you can put this down in here and it takes very, very little actual effort to hold this bag in place and maintain it. So, um, you know what, let's dial. I think we should be about one seven. Um, the rifle is the rifle. Hopefully uh, we're gonna be kind of on target. Actually, we'll go to one six. We're gonna run the KYL and kind of bounce around there at about 100 yards and uh, see how easy or not easy it is. Well, hopefully you can see that. And uh, it looks like some of the targets are kind of obscured by the backer. So we'll just shoot some of the bigger ones and then we'll move around. Yeah, we had a little, little right to left. Let's hit that circle. Let's hit that guy. The grenade. That triangle. Spinner. Oh, that target's messed up. There we go. And we'll go in a little closer. And I shot left like a dummy and much closer. And there we go. So as typical, I missed some wind calls on that. Uh, it is a little bit of a right to left and I haven't dialed for that. So I did miss a couple there. Um, nothing to do with the bag rider, obviously. You'll be able to look at that scope cam footage and see just how stable that reticle is as I'm coming into the target and breaking the shot. But uh, there it is, guys. I won't drag this out any further. If you're looking for a really, really good bag rider, um, the bag bullet is where I would send you. Now, the guy who sells it, it's ALD Rifles. He's selling off Facebook pretty much exclusively right now. Um, if you're having problems finding it, uh, go to my website, send me an email there and I'll see if I can link you two up if you're looking to get this and you don't have Facebook or something like that. But again, I've been running this uh, for about three months. I started using it in Missouri. I've come back out here and again, uh, I've used it long enough to know that I don't not want to use it in the future. So I have two more on the way to me to outfit my other two ACCs. But as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.